And welcome everyone to another Reality Skewed Gamers gaming video. I am Finity and I am joined by the best part of RSG, Miss T McVenom. Hey guys. <laughs> and we are doing our first video for a new mobile game that we have started to play and it is called Tactical Monsters. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty fun game so far. Uh, let, I'll start, let me do this first. Uh, T, before we start, I'm going to play in-game. They have what's okay. uh, called an introduction video. And so I'm going to kind of play that for everyone so you guys can kind of see uh, the introduction into Tactical Monsters. Kind of what it is. Uh, while we're watching this, basically it's a game where you're collecting different monsters. And you're also going to be having a lot of strategy. Lot of different aspects of this game, lots of different ways that you can this depending on what you like to do the most. And we're just kind of having fun with being able to fiddle around with a lot of these. They also have a scrimmage mode, which uh, T and I are eventually going to try to get on because we have to be in the same clan in order to do it. So that's kind of the next step for us. Um, ben. It's a turnstile tactical. Yeah. Ben. Yeah. I don't think they can hear you over the cutscenes from the okay. game. Now they should be able to hear me. <laughs> so it's a really fun game. <laughs> it's a really fun game. Yeah, so it says the volume is too high. Okay, so there you go. But that was the intro video. You should be able to hear me now. Um, hopefully. Now should be fine. Um, so the intro video just kind of gave a little background into Tactical Monsters. The game is basically a collection game. You're collecting different monsters. You're getting different cards. Um, and creating your set of monsters so you can kind of see what I've collected so far um, as you get into higher levels you get different value you need more and more cards in order to hit the next level there's also kind of rarity or like impressiveness of the card so kind of green is the lowest blue then purple and then the gold which is like a rare um, so there's a lot of different types of monsters that you can collect and um, Oh, so they're saying I'm just generally quiet. That's weird. Hmm. Um, hold on. I think there's a can you hear me in my loud mouth, guys? Yeah. Let's see if you can hear McVenom first. Because I, I think I know what we may be able to do. They're probably going to say, yeah, she's a little too loud. Okay. I'm going to try not to get too loud here. But, okay. That should be better now, I think. So hopefully you guys can hear me now. And hopefully I'm not too loud for you guys either. That's weird that all of a sudden it got all messed up. Well, we also have, speaking of loud, Mr. Grande Patron with us now. Hi, Grande. Oh, Grande was here. I have no idea where he is now. Maybe he's calling in and getting it situated. Yeah, Just give him a minute. Okay. I'm, so, I'm here. There I'm we here. go. There's Grande. Yay. And I... Um... Yeah, I just I just downloaded this game yesterday, and I will tell you, um, played it a little bit last night while I was putting kids to bed. Played it a little bit today while I was hanging out waiting waiting on something to happen in real life, and um, I like the mechanics a a lot, a lot like the mechanics of this game, and I can, I mean, we can go into detail about what I like about it, but um, I, I there's a couple features in particular that's like. Oh wow, that's a really freaking cool twist on on a turn-based game. So yeah. I, I like it. All right. So actually, Grande, if you want, go ahead and start, and let's talk about what you like about the game, and we can kind of go into that. Okay. Discussion. So the first, the, so the first two things I like about it are I like the fact that you can hit the shield like a, it's like a defensive stance for any character. I think that's pretty cool, and that can take your turn. The other one is you can decide to skip your turn. Which is which I think is really interesting. So if it's sometimes um, in some of these games, it's more advantageous to skip your turn and or, and like put yourself back in the queue and have not done an action. And uh, so a defensive posture for every character. And uh, I don't want to attack right now. I want them to attack and then me to attack. I thought both of those were super cool. Um, uh, advances in this particular game. 
Um, so I, I, I like the overall turn-based mechanics a ton. Absolutely. The whole thing about holding the turn too is really cool because it's it's part of the whole game is tactical strategy of like get it letting them get closer, what they're gonna do versus what you can do, holding versus trying to move closer or get within range. It's it's really cool. I, I'm enjoying it a lot. Yeah, and, and I you know, um you know the other the other game we play could could learn a lot from you know, a I want to skip my turn, but I want to be next. You know, what I mean? there's there's a few. We things. were so, just talking uh, before you got on that we're not going to mention the other. Yeah, games we're, no we're... names are going to be mentioned, but we play uh -oh. some other games too. And I mean, there this brings a lot of different things into this. I mean, this is so one of the game modes that I played. Again, uh, hopefully you guys can hear me. Let me know if you if I'm coming in better now. Um, one of the game modes that I played in this was the esports. And they have what's called the eSport mode. And the, they have a few. They have the eSport challenge and they have the eSport duel. And I haven't done the challenge yet, but previously there was an eSport duel. And the duel is really cool because what it does is all of the characters that you already have unlocked in your roster, it takes them up to level 15 for this event. And so you are fighting on even levels with every other person that you're playing with. And so everybody has level 15 characters and it's all about knowing the characters, what time of team composition you yeah, want to make, I how love you that. want to arrange them because me, yeah. yeah, I'll, I'm going to I'll play that one means here it, so you guys can kind of see it cuz I have one yeah, more. That, mean, that, that means that means it's I, what I really like about that is that means that it's my super smart brain versus Finity's super smart brain. And now we get to have more like a chess match, right? Where it's all the, evenly all matched. The, yeah, it's not where, about how yeah, many. So, so yeah. Now, so now we can say regardless of how much, you know, time, energy, effort, money, whatever, one player or another has put into this, it's about who's, you know, who's got the brain power to make it happen, yeah. which is super cool. I mean, this is a... I, I I really like this idea about how to do um how to do an event right how to do a duel how to do two players playing against each other I think that's super neat. Well, I was talking to some. If you guys aren't in the um the Tactical Monsters Rumble server, the the cool thing about their server, their Discord server, is they have all of the, a lot of the devs are in there. There's a big dev presence. Um, they answer questions. They talk about the game a lot. It's a huge community. And they were talking about how this game is cool in that way that they do try to make events, even though there is still a pay to play aspect and a free to play aspect. They have events that work to meld those two together and make it very even in certain arenas, which I think is really cool and is what a lot of games are missing. Yeah. And you can kind of see me playing here. So, uh, the opponent that I have has a much better team composition than I do because I'm not familiar with a lot of these characters yet. Um, and we'll go through kind of some of the characters that are available in this game and I'll kind of show you the character stuff. Um, but there's a lot of powerful characters. They all have their own different kind of skills associated with this. And like each skill provides them something different. So this eSport duel is actually based around the turtle character. I believe his name is Captain T and he has yeah like which a, i don't like him very much i'm not a big fan of him yeah. either um he's neat because he has essentially the thorns ability in a lot of different games it's called spikes in this where if you attack him with melee um you'll you'll take he damage is, as a result of it he attacks back with like 60 percent damage right yeah so i mean it's, it's it's the typical thorns ability in a lot of other games and so it's a pretty neat thing but um, again, I'm still not used to all of these characters and I'm going to get my third loss here because I've been kind of fiddling around with a lot of these characters. Um, but in, there's also an arena, there's also, um, like a, the adventure mode is what's essentially the PVE content. And so the PVE content is the one that McBenham makes fun of me for going after because I'm trying to three star everything in there. I started out trying to three yeah. star everything on there and fell behind in arena. <laughs> okay. But meanwhile, arena is where you get the big payouts, right? Mm -hmm. Going up in your arenas is where you get your cards, your shards. Well, you, you get a good roster, amount of stuff from the adventures you're too. you're messing around in the trying to get three stars and everything in your challenge when that's stuff that you can play after your, your, 
battles are done. And he was still on like level zero. One. I was on level one. Don't be putting me at zero. Arena. You start at level one. Where? There ain't no zero. Don't be don't be putting me. You down. know what I mean. Like you were at base level. Well, yeah, but th still, that ain't no zero. Don't be putting me at zero. Whatever. <laughs> Starting point is zero. So, <laughs> so you have a bunch of monsters here, and they have a lot of stats associated with them. So, like this is the dragon, and it's one of the the better ones. And you can kind of it takes you to a video if you want to. That as it loads here. See if it'll Brenda, are you still there? So each character, they actually have like a little video set up. Uh, oh, it's not, it's probably not working because of the way I have it streaming, but they have a video for all of these different characters. You get a little bit of a description of it. There's a bunch of stats associated with it, like its health, its damage. The initiative is actually pretty cool because the initiative is kind of the order in which they go and so you if you saw it during that combat there's like a bar at the bottom that tells you what the speed is or what the order of turns is and what grande was mentioning with regards to the uh pausing there's a little hourglass where you can delay your turn until later in the round and then your turn can come up again and so there is some strategic advantage to doing it that way um and in doing so, you kind of maybe force the other person to move first, and if they get closer, you can get into range and attack. I mean, it's pretty it's pretty neat, the overall gameplay here. Um, there are clans. If you go into the clans, they have what are called friendly battles, and you can actually do, like, a sandbox against people in your own clan. And so I'm waiting to join McVenom's clan, hopefully soon here. And so we can do some fun uh, 1v1 stuff and and play that with you guys so you guys can see what happens when McVenom and I go against each other. That's so another sure. really cool thing about this game is actually having, like, something that we wanted in some other games is, like, a sandbox mode where mm -hmm. you can actually play. And the other really cool thing about this is you can video within the game. You can record your matches and then post them in your clan chats or post them anywhere you want. It saves to your game, but then you can also post it to your clan chat so other people can rag Finn when you beat him. It's super, super cool. And you know McVenom is going to trash talk me. Like, that's just that's just bound to happen. That's oh, gonna... come on. Of course she's going to trash <laughs> talk you. Of course she is, right? I mean, that's Ronnie's just... going to be worse like... than me. You know he will. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I trash talk no favorite. one ever. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. So it, it is a, yeah, never. a really fun game so far. Um, lots of different modes again that you guys can pick, uh, pick from. And one of the cool things that they've added is really a way for you to get used to not only the characters, but also the strategies that are part of this game. So they have what's called Monsters Academy, and it goes through the very basic stuff about the game. So you'll see basic training, you'll see advanced tactics, and then you'll see that it gives you the ability to test out the skills of, a, of all, I think almost all, if not like the majority of the really high-end characters. And so you can play around with Hagi or Wushi or Blocky. I mean, there's a bunch of different characters in here. And you can actually play around. I know uh, McVenom loves Coach Grizz. Grizz is fun. Oh, <laughs> I love him. He's a, he's he a bear. So I'm going to actually, let me see if I can. You. I'm going to play his He blows his here. whistle and hits you with his foul card. Yeah, just... I'm, I'm going to play around with this one right here. It's, it's he's, adorable. He's a bear yeah. that's a referee. I mean, it's just, it's pretty mm -hmm. fun. And he'll yellow card you. And then if you get two yellows, you get a red and he just kicks you out of the match. <laughs> Like yeah, really I like fun. him, and I like um I can't remember his name, but he's the little mole. Uh, the Hoggy. Little gopher. That's Hoggy. Hoggy. Yeah, I like Hoggy. So when somebody dies, Grizz automatically takes a turn and gives him a foul and stuns him. Right? So then the bear is angry, and now he has his ultimate. And so what you do is you essentially just click on wherever your target is, and it'll attack him. And I'm giving him a foul warning. And that's his red card, and he's out. <laughs> I mean, it's a really, it's a really fun kit, and there's a lot of different characters like that. I mean, the, he's fun. He he's oh, a yeah. fun character. My favorite is still Thumper. Um, Thumper is. Let me see where Thumper is. Oh, Thumper. I can't see it because I don't like playing against him. I don't like playing against him because I think I got him, and then he enrages, and then there's this big ugly 
thing. Yeah, so Thumper is really cool because Thumper is a little bunny. And he will go and let's you'll see what happens here. He attacks. He doesn't have a lot of hit points himself. So I'm going to wait for, for the guy to attack my Thumper. So I'm just going to pause here so you guys can see this. So he attacks my Thumper. Why didn't my Thumper die? He needs to kill my Thumper. Stop attacking my Griffin! Okay, so that didn't work out. Really. I do like the I do like the Griffin, by the way. Yeah, that's one of my favorite kind of characters, just in general, is a Griffin. And so seeing that they have a Griffin in this game, which looks freaking awesome, by the way, is pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, so let's try this I'm again. I'm so now. confused by this little ghost guy. He's like he's annoying surprise, at higher levels. I faced happened. him in the level 15 like e duels. And he does a crap ton of damage when he's, like, angry and he does a surprise. I think it boosts yeah. up his damage. Oh, but you guys can see it now. The little bunny died, and he turns into, like, a demonic rabbit. That's now just, like, really angry at everyone. Yeah, yeah he's pretty... And he goes back to normal, and now you can attack again. He goes into his little form. See, then he goes into Monster Reborn. Becomes a very angry rabbit. He kills so... somebody. It will... And what's interesting is you can take a bunch of characters in or you can decide to retract some characters, which yeah. sometimes if they're low level and you're trying to three star something, you need to not play with all your stuff, which I thought yeah. was cool. <laughs> yes, of so, course, I like the bunny. It's the bunny. I like the bunny. Uh -huh. Grande, what do you how do you feel about this game as far as time devotion to it? During you know, it doesn't seem. Today was a weird day for me, just in real yeah. life, and and so I I'm still kind of trying to figure out, you know, did I did I miss out on something by not by not pushing really hard today? I haven't figured out if I lost if I lost out or if it's one of these things, you know, that I can kind of like pick up and play with, you know, yeah, at my leisure basically. I'm just a little um, I don't know yet. And of course, the completionist in me wants to like three star this adventure mode, and my my characters are not good enough to actually do that. So yeah. to... That's what I'm doing. I'm up to chapter six. I'm up to chapter well, six what, and node seven and about. doing stuff. Finn has wasted a lot of time trying to three star. You need to make sure that you're in Rumble and getting and getting up your yeah. the so, boxes. A little bit Chance about some of the stuff in the game, right? So you have different currencies, you have the coins, and you have the gems. So it's kind of like your typical freemium, and then your coins are kind of like your regular currency. Um, we have the the rumble, which is the rankings. As you get higher, you get different, uh, different chests. You can also get coins every time you complete it. You get trophies, and it's basically a ladder arena system. Um, so it's not like other games where you may be in different shards or something like that. It's a uh, ladder system from what, and again, uh, McVenom mentioned it earlier. There is a great community on discord with devs and a bunch of players that are just really willing to help you. If you guys hop on there, um, I have the link in the description of the video too. So you guys can join um, what they were mentioning is that especially on iOS, it's a little bit more difficult because the game isn't super new. So there's been a lot of people and because it is an arena ladder, it gets very competitive at the top. Um, there is obviously a whale component to this where if you invested a lot of money, there is a lot of return. But in all honesty, this game has been so much fun with a sandbox mode where we can just kind of fight each other. Um, there's a lot of fun things that we can do with this game. And there's PvE, there's PvP, there's lots of teaching things. There's also what are called expeditions. And expeditions are, allow you to use your characters and basically get free stuff while you're not in game. And you just... You can only do a certain number at a time. So right now I can only do two. And you set your characters to go on this expedition. And they come back and they get you rewards. And it's so, like a quest kind of thing. Yeah, they're like Just a quest. And it's like away. a passive quest too. Um, yeah. The game is on several different platforms. So there's the mobile games that you can get on Android or on iOS. It's also on Steam for the Windows version. Um, so there's a lot of different ways you can play this game. Um, I'm just trying to read through the chat. Play and it on BlueStacks? Yeah, you can play it on BlueStacks if you want, like, an emulator uh, on your computer, mm -hmm. if you want to do it that way. I mean, there's a there's a lot of different ways that you can go about this. Um, so, <laughs> uh, just a few, like, some reasons. Did you, see, did you see Travis Anderson? Is there a level cap and is Revan in it? 
Um, no. I actually don't know about the level cap. I'm not sure either. I've seen some characters I... that, that are fairly high, so I don't know if there's a level cap. Um, a lot of the esports mode seems to be either level 12 or level 15. So I think that's it. Let me see if we can. I don't know if I can actually go and see what the if I can see what like the top rank. You can go are. to the ranks, right? I'm trying to see if the, I can see um, what the ranks are. Try Rumble rankings and see who like top players are. Um, yeah. Grande, what we were talking about earlier about like the time commitment, I've been popping in and out of it, and it's very. I find it's not very time consuming at all. And you get a 24 hour period because everybody's lumped into the same arenas. You just have, um, how many is there? 15, Finn? 15 arenas. And you just kind of steadily climb your yeah. way up to the top 15. And it's all I one big. Like, I think I can show that. iOS is in one. Steam people are in another. I, well, I haven't even unlocked arena yet in okay. this game. But the thing I like about this game though, is that all of your battles and stuff are in a 24 hour period. You have this many times to get in there, but um, you set a defense and then you set, you play your offense differently. Mm -hmm. So that's okay. really cool too. So it's not like you have to get in there and change things out quickly. You, you set your defense and move on and keep doing other things. So I'll shout out a Brujo X who's in the chat. Cause he's one of the people that was in discord helping earlier. Um, and he's saying hey, that the Brujo. level cap is 23 for monster. So there you go. Gotcha. Well, yeah, right now I'm just trying to three star. Cause apparently I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to unlock, um, unlock PVP arena in 13 minutes. And I get like, uh, extra bunch of crystals nice there you go um, I, don't even, I don't even know if i can do that but i'm gonna try <laughs> they have some... the other cool mm -hmm. go ahead. oh go ahead go we're, try we're trying to get like all the information of what's cool and stuff the other cool thing that i like is if you do if you are a pay a paying player so you're not going free to play but you want to spend a little money the cool thing about this game is you're spending money and if you're in a good active guild um Every dime, every if you buy like the premium pack, it goes to your guild members too, which I love. There's a couple other games that, that I've played before that does that, you know, like the VIPs or, or when you buy packs, a guild member gets something for it. But um, with this premium thing, if you buy it, you get crystals every day and you can donate crystals to your guild and they get extra little things, which I find that's cool. It, make, it gives me more incentive to buy what I feel like I'm not being selfish about. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, so this is what you can see. These are what are called the premium. Um, they're basically kind of like a subscription purchase that you can get. Um, they have the first one, which is like a trial and then $2 a week afterwards. Then they have the monthly card, which is $5 per month. Yeah. Um, so uh, they go a little bit less in value. And then the annual card, which I think is definitely worth it, is just 30 bucks for the entire year. And I mean, it's over basically half off from the monthly card if you decide to play. So if you play for six months, you basically paid off your annual card right there. And then you like the rest yeah. of the month is free. 200 like... gems a day. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. The stuff that you get. So 200 gems a day. You also get, um, the first time you purchase, you'll get an additional 50, 50 gems. Um, you get 20% extra gold from the PVP arena. And what you can see, you can send gifts to clan members every day. You get what are called clan tickets. And the clan tickets, after you get 30 of them, will get you like a like currency in-game. It's not a huge amount, but it's still free stuff that you guys can get in-game just by being in a guild. And if you're in a You can level up your guild, players with that, right? Can you, that? Level up your, you can level up your yeah. players with that. Yeah, yeah, you can get clan points. And you can use clan points <laughs> in order to, and you might be able to see it. Let me go to a lower character here. Um, you upgrade your characters by collecting the, the cards. And if you want to upgrade and you don't have enough, it'll actually allow you to use some of your, uh, clan points in order to upgrade it. And so there's being in a, in an active clan in this game really does help. And so yeah. that's what we're trying to do. And there's a bunch of other stuff you can do. The you can also request cards for characters. So if you go to your clan, you can request it and other you can donate to other people as well. And so they can donate the cards of the character so you guys can up the level as well. So I love how all the people in the chat are from the yeah. other game well, and asking actually, those questions. 
<laughs> Captain Obvious has a somewhat um, relatable question. He said, how many raid tickets do you need to maintain daily in your clan? So they don't do raid tickets, but what they do do, they request activity and like the clan that I'm in, they want you to make a certain amount of donations weekly because they track by week, not by day. So if you don't happen to get into a something in a day, of course, now there's other little like clan events that you want to try to make it for, but it's not like you're not going to get kicked out for not being there that day as long as you, you know, put in your weekly donations, which is cool. I like that. Oh, look. My, my Some of my characters have returned from their expedition. So I can claim these. Let's see what my rewards are. I got five of the ghost dude. Hooray. Now I can start another expedition. Uh, I'm just going to start this magic one. So let me just send these guys out there. And now I have my characters going on another expedition for the next few hours. So, I mean, it's it's there's a lot. Whatever type of way you want to play this game, this game has it available to you. Like, there's even... Uh, playing matches, which are the e duels. There are the regular arena, which is like a ladder climb, so that's available to you. There is PVE if you like to do the nodes. Um, there's also what's called mind defense, which is pretty neat too. Oh you, yeah, I like the mind defense. That's yeah, actually like you get fun additional that's resources, and you have to get have resources to in order to level it up, and you get more resources, and you attack people, and you steal their gold, and it increases the production of your mind. And I mean there's just so many different ways that you can like level this up it's actually really neat so so that's a good question durgan asked the question are we in the rsg clan or everybody in different clans are we going to do the rsg thing like we do where we all kind of go in different way avenues to see how our styles differ well so or... the problem with that is the friendly battles so the the friendly battle. I know we're gonna want to we're gonna want to sit there and play against each other all the mm -hmm. time. Well, yeah. hey, but the cool thing is though the devs are awesome. They're in the Discord server, so we suggest maybe if we friend someone, can we do friendly battles outside of clans? Yeah, that might be a great suggestion to make um, to enhance the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right now all of the friend stuff is done directly through uh, the clan. And so you would want to try and group up in a, in a clan to do these kind of things. So um, right now we're not all in the same clan. Um, we're we're in different clans right now. Uh, I started in a start. I'm not even in a clan yet. I'm still working on trying to get to a clan. There you go. So Grande's still working on it. I'm in kind of a starter clan right now, um, looking to join an active one. McVenom found her way into a good guild here or a good clan. I'm a girl. It's super easy when you're a chick, man. And you're an awesome chick at that. So Hey, I'm a real chick. Not just a guy playing a chick on the game. So, so if I got a clan. So, uh, I mean, it, we I think we don't have an RSG clan yet. Um, we're still new to the game. Being in an active clan is really important. And so that's part of the reason why we wanted yeah. to stream about this and let you guys know about this. We're going to try and do this uh, much more frequently. Uh, pretty much weekly, we're going to try and do a stream about Tactical Monsters. You guys can see our progress. We're noobs. We're awful. You saw me just lose at esports. It's, it's I'm awful. Um, so it's all part of the, the progression that you guys can follow along with, with us. Um, we do have some fun stuff that you guys can get as a result of it, though. Like we said, the, the devs and stuff on the Discord have been great with us. Um, we've been able to mm -hmm. talk with them and suggest a bunch of different things. And... Uh, so one of the things you guys can do if you guys are wanting to do anything with this game go ahead and download the game you guys will find it in your app store you can find it on steam all of that stuff um when you do it if you join the discord there is a channel where you can put your rumbler id which you can get by clicking on your name and you'll see it at the top there with your rumbler id you will be able to get 500 free gems just by posting your rumbler id there in addition if you guys are uh, in the RSG Discord, and the link is below, and it's just realityskewedgamers.com slash Discord, you can come to the Reality Skewed Gamers Discord, and we have a uh, channel set up now for Tactical Monsters and the other game chats. If you go to the Tactical Monsters chat, and you tag me, Finity, and you put your Rumbler ID there, we might be able to get you some other fun stuff too with the devs. Um, show that the RSG community is interested in this game. Let's get involved here. 
Um, we've been involved in another mobile game, as you guys are aware, for the most part. And so we are looking for some other really fun games that we can do of a different type as well. So this is kind of a different style than the other one. It's still kind of an RPG game. It's a collection game. It's one we can build on. And I think we can have a, a community lot of building fun. game. Mm -hmm. Definitely a community building game. And obviously the the tactical monsters community is already really great so far lots of friendly people a lot of fun devs and stuff to talk to so if again download the game send me your rumbler id uh, in the tactical monster chat you can go ahead and tag me in that chat as well so i know that it's there i'll put a little thumbs up emoji to make sure that you guys know that i see it and we'll be submitting that uh later what Travis Anderson. Oh, RSG presents Tactical Monsters Brunch. You guys will have no time for us, especially my future. <laughs> he calls me his future we have a ex wife we, have a, time. we do stream a lot. We do. Um, we're going to come up with a schedule, too. So we, we had a discussion after yesterday's live stream. So we're going to uh, – we mentioned this before the new year where we're going to try and get you guys more streams, more games – just get more engagement in all of these kind of things and let you guys know what the exact schedule is. So this is what uh, I think around this time is probably when we're going to be planning to do tactical, tactical monsters. Uh, somewhere between half an hour to an hour stream, depending what's going on. There's a lot of events currently going on. I failed all of my, my eSport duels, so I'm, I'm currently done. Did you really? Yeah, I lost three. I'm, I don't like the turtle. I am so hoping that this is one thing that I'm going to be better in. How many rumbles can you do at a time? I'm on my third rumble. Apparently, you know, rumble I unlocked easy? them. Yeah, you can do a lot. So, Rujo, how many? Rujo, you can do 60. Should, you can, can do 60 them. wins um, because you can only get the gold 20 times in a day. And so it's every three wins Wait, you can rumble? get one of those golds. In rumble, you can do 60? Yeah, because you can get the, the gold rewards. 20 times in a day, there's a little counter underneath it. You can get it 20 times in a day. And then each three wins is what you get for like one gold payout. I think you can keep on doing it though. I don't think there's a limit per day, but you don't get any additional payout from doing it. Because I've done it 30 times. I've won 32 matches so far, I'm pretty sure. If I look at my record, I mean, most of these <laughs> are from today. Like it's, these are all from today, but it's a short list. But yeah, I mean, you just keep on doing Dang. it. Some of these, some of these characters are super powerful, man. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then there's like a, there's like a team bonus and stuff. And it's like, man, they're just they can kick, oh, they kick my rear end sometimes. Um, and it's really fun with the whole, the whole aspect of like having the archers, having the magical powers versus brute force. I mean, there's just all different yeah. kinds of cool strategies in this. I mean, if you are a strategy player. This is probably for you. And Definitely. so this is the map. So you guys can actually kind of see what happens. There's a lot of different maps and the maps have different layouts. The blue areas are where you can. Uh, he wants you to put the game sound on. I'll put them on. There's, there's, I turned off the music just in case of copyright stuff. But hold on. Okay. Let me see if the sound. Let me turn up my volume. <laughs> Travis Anderson this said is I'm a, downloading. This is, this is a game I... I need to play this game on like an iPad because I think the characters like they make special cool moves, but on my phone it's just a little bit smaller, and I really want to see what it what oh, they're yeah, doing. They, you know, they like do. their little moves. They do a lot of yeah. cool stuff. I can see it on my phone. Like um, I, I like I just want to see their different. moves a little bit better. So Grande, you know that you can pull it up on Steam. Steam, you can play it on an emulator like BlueStacks or something on your computer oh, yeah. through your iOS or Android. That oh, that would be that would be much not... better. I should probably play this on an emulator. Yeah, so they don't Can really I have can I port can I port my game? Yeah, so you I wonder yeah, if I can do port it on my game. Androids, but they don't have it really cross platform right now. That was one of the questions yeah. I'd asked, especially oh, okay. with iOS. Um so if you're doing Android, you can do the Android and then the emulator. You're fine if you do that. But I don't think Steam is going to be the same. Oh, is it buffering? So no, well the cool thing, though, I did read somewhere that you can, it's not cross-platform, but you can switch yours over to something yeah. permanently or something, maybe. You may be um, able to. But, yeah, so. But oh, I see right here. So it's, right? so you can so you can bind it to Game Center. You uh -huh. can connect it to Facebook. And right now, mine's not binded. I'm sure down in here there's some other settings. Well, we just need to. 
read I was a little bit more. I playing it on my, um, on my Android tablet, and I was like, okay, can I just move my iOS account to my Android tablet? And I looked up how to do that and how complicated it would be. It was like you have to make a new one and then get your two binded and send in a ticket. And But they'll do it for you. It's just a little oh, bit. Oh, they'll do it for you. Yeah. They'll do it for you. You just have to ask the devs. Exactly. I got you. It's like some shenanigans to go through. But, but it, Oh, it's well, it's like, the, it's like it, we've seen that before in other games in the beginning whenever they kind of first come mm -hmm. out. The first little nice. bit. They got to see if people. Yeah, he said so he just downloaded the blue stacks to see what it's like. Yeah, so uh, I'm, I mean, really, I'm kind of digging it actually. Yeah, let me go through the combat um, here really quick, so you guys kind of understand what it is. So it's a uh, RPG with a hexagonal, uh, hexagonal spot uh, board map. So each one can move in like six different directions, and the blue ones they have lanes are sometimes. Where you That's can what's kind of cool. Gears. They'll put like yeah. So like the blue squares or the blue hexagons are where you can place your units. So I can move this one wherever I want. I can set up my defense however I want in the blue hey. area. Ooh, and they're not yeah. necessarily yeah. all in one thing. Did you know that when the opposite team is there, you can hold down on the, the opposite team player and it shows you all of their available spots so yep. they can move? That was the next thing I was going to do. I was going to start combat. Today. Yep. I just figured that out today <laughs> that like I'm like, I wonder if he can reach me here because I don't know that character that he's playing with. And you can just mm -hmm. hold it down and it shows all the spots that he could get to in his next move. Yeah. I'm like, that's, that's like cool. one of the coolest things because there's yeah. different ways that it shades too. So you'll see like a red, like a dark red shade and that's where it does the most damage. And if it's like a ranged character, you'll see like a light red and that means that they do less damage and the AI will prefer to hit the like inner part first if you can. And so you can move guys around in order to actually uh like stay in the outer range so like a weaker character may not get hit or a stronger one does get hit um like i said there's a lot of strategy to this and you can set up your defense however you want in the blue when you face a team theirs is going to be set up in this red area and so this red area is going to have theirs and so the at the bottom what you'll see is what are called the starters and you also get one bench and the bench you don't have to assign now you can assign you can bring somebody off the bench um when you're in combat so you can pick one that kind of fits whatever is the best counter to what you're facing so part of that is you have to get used to the characters and learn about what it is but what you'll also see is and i'm going to kind of deselect these so you guys can see it with blank there are particular colors that you can put in each of the different spots Right, so in the starters, I can have one orange, one purple, one blue, and then there's a bench that I can kind of put whatever I want. But if I put a orange, which is my dragon, Rambo, if I put him on the map, you'll see that it doesn't let me put another orange within my starter or my bench. Which, what is cool about that is when you're playing other people, that, that evens the playing field out a little bit. You still have an edge if you have a great deck, but you're limited by how many legendaries you can play. So you can't just stack up a bunch of legendaries against somebody like Thin or I. So that mm -hmm. is a really cool thing too. Yep. And uh, Travis Anderson asking, so what's the point? Is the point to conquer the board? So it's actually to defeat the other team. So yes, essentially conquer the board. So each match happens on this. And then you go, I'm going to go ahead and do one here to attack. Um, so we'll go ahead and attack. We'll do a rumble here see if i can win this one um, um, the other thing too is they have an auto feature which you get right away so if you kind of don't know what you're doing and you just want to see like how the ai thinks you should be playing you can hit the auto button and let it auto play and then you can kind of be like oh i see how how it's playing now yeah. and i see what it's doing wrong that i don't like and i see what it's doing right that i do like and let me so that way you can then you can turn it off auto and then you can play it or you could play at a different time, a better way. It's okay, so surprisingly helpful to go through and watch it, the AI play, too. So in my first move, I'm going to summon the griffin that Grande likes, because it's cool, because when it comes in, I know that it does the roar and increases attacks and stuff. And so for now, I'm going to hit the little hourglass in order to wait, because I want to see what the other ones do first. And I don't want to send my melee units up a little too early. So I'm just kind of letting it play out here. We'll see what my opponent does here. So the Rumble is a PvE match, or a PvP match. So this is me fighting somebody else. He just summoned Frost. Frost is one of my favorite characters. 
because Frost throws like an ice, like a popsicle at you, and it's actually really neat because it's it can annoying. actually displace you from where you are, and it, it's it's actually really awesome. So you'll see it here. Frost should be attacking me. Yep, there he goes, and he killed my Arya. And this one is. Let's see, I love that the Griffin. Name. That the Griffin's name is Harrison. Yeah, I think that's kind of cool. They, they it's do a great name really for a Neat names. It really is. I don't. I mean, I don't know. They, you know, they've done a lot of cool things as far as which, as far as like naming goes and some other things. You know, it seems like they've they've learned a lot, right? I mean, we've learned how to play these turn-based games, and they've gotten a lot of stuff right in this game. Yeah. A lot of stuff. So one thing you'll kind of see here are the little pips, the little things like underneath each of the characters. And what that is is you get one basically every time you take a like a, a turn. And the turn – oh, is it lagging? It looks like it's working. Yeah. Oh, it looks smooth. Right. And thank you, Ettenhausen style. I think that's a new viewer. Mm -hmm. He said you guys are great. I'm assuming he came from the uh, TM server. So welcome. So uh, what you'll see is that you'll get the little pips, and when you max out your pips, you can do your ultimate ability. So my guy is going to be able to do his ultimate here in a second. So you can see it's kind of firing up. And I can kind of put it wherever. So I'm going to get rid of their big guy here. But I know he does like a little bit of an AOE. So there you go. So he has two guys that are on the verge of death. The problem is his guy has an ultimate. And this is not going to be pleasant. And there goes my guy. I was close, but not, not good enough here. Both of his were like almost on the verge of death. But no, that's, that's death for me. But yeah, so that's essentially what I can't the, wait to get... Yeah, it was starting to oh, lag ahead. a little bit there at the at the end. It was oh, that's why it's starting. To I can't up. wait to get some like legit like long time players in to really talk about like getting into the strategy of it because I have. So How long has this game been around? Do we even know? Really, it's, it's not I mean, very I, long. I, I kind of feel like I missed the boat on this. I think it's about, a, about year. a year. Oh, okay. Well, I anyway, I just I, he's uh oh hi Dermot. He's Dermix. Is it Dermix? I'm going to probably butcher it, but he's Dermix, uh, which I... Derm Dermix? Yeah. So uh, he's one of the active people on the uh, server for Tactical Monsters too. He's been very helpful for yeah. me and Meg Venom throughout the day, um, trying to make sure that we Super know what, what we're doing with this game. <laughs> that it, it would Well, you guys know more than me. Right now, I'm just, I'm, I'm just w looking around punching abilities right now well we've been asking <laughs> questions all figure it out. i know i saw you guys in there asking questions when i jumped in the server and i could definitely tell that you were um that there's a lot there's a lot more to this game oh, than yeah. what i'm seeing right now they're, they're is travis anderson's name falkworth my ride <laughs> there we go yeah very nice very nice <laughs> So, yeah. I mean, so again, uh, this game is really fun. Uh, it's probably the next mobile game we're going to do kind of continually. We're going to hope to kind of follow with the news and all of that. You guys can watch us as we're noobing our way up to mediocrity, which is our goal. Noobing to mediocrity. We'll, we'll do it. Hooray. Um, we'll work on getting more characters and just having fun. We'll do some fights against each other, hopefully, with some friendly battles. Um, and again... If you guys are going to download this game, make sure you hop on both servers, the Discord server. So our Discord server, realityscootgamers.com slash Discord, and also the Tactical Monsters Discord, which is linked in the description below. If you go to the Tactical Monsters Discord, they have a channel called Newbies Free, Free Gems. All you have to do is post your Rumbler ID. Again, you just click on the top. You get your Rumbler ID right there. You post it in the chat, and they will send you some free gems as a result. Of doing that give them a little bit of time it's kind of a manual process that they're doing it so um you can get your free gems as a result of doing that and then go on to the rsg discord and go into the tactical monster chat tag finity and put your rumbler id there too and we'll try to we'll send your name over as being rumblers from the rsg crew so uh anything else you want to add mcvenom grande about the game or anything i think we've 
we kind of covered the basics of everything. There's some quests. There is a daily login, uh, a daily login calendar. So every day that you log uh -huh. in, you'll be able to get free stuff as well. So there's also that available to you guys. So the more you log in, the better. I like that you call it rumblers. Yeah, we're rumblers. We have a rumbler ID, so we'll be rumblers. That's so adorable. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Grande, do you want to be a rumbler? I'm going to rumble. You better watch out. I'm rumbling. We're rumbler skewed gamers now. That's what it is. Are you ready to rumble? Can we have an intro that says, are you ready to rumble? Do, 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 that would be cool. Do, 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 do. Then we're going to lose everything on copyright just soon. So. <laughs> probably so. That's also, probably I'm sure copyrighted. That phrase is copyrighted. <laughs> is it really? I'm sure it is. Mm. I'd be surprised if it wasn't. Let me put put it that way. Me too. Um, yeah. Well. Well, we'll we see. Know. We'll see. Anyway, at the at right now we're having fun. Yeah. And that's the cool part. Yeah. There's a lot, a lot of fun, of fun stuff fun. here. And so you can kind of see all the different. If you they have the little mm. uh, bullhorn at the top that lets you see all the uh, announcements and stuff. And so you'll see the, this is the duel and the captain. So you guys can see all the fun stuff that's currently going on in the game. I'll be doing, I'll be able to do the challenges here soon. The eSport challenge starts uh, when, in 12 hours. So I'll kind of be playing around with that at that point. So again, lots of fun stuff for you guys. Uh, and yeah, you can, you can blame Finn. Yeah, always blame Finn. I blame I now. blame Finn for for hooking me onto this game. Yes, that <laughs> is the correct thing to do. You, you are you are correct in doing so. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think so, you guys are gonna enjoy it. I, I really do. Too. I think give it a chance. It's a little bit. There's so much going on in it, and so much to learn at first, just like any other game. Well, but um, yeah, this but, yeah, exactly, just like any other give game. The game. Give the game style, which is a different the turn base. It's it's a it's a different style than what we're used to. A lot of the RSU viewers, so just give it a give it some uh, give it a chance and uh, play all the different modes, and uh, you'll see. It's got a lot of variety, a lot of fun stuff to do. And but you're not the thing that I love. You're not tied down to it, so it's really um, an easy game to play it is. in that way. Yeah, for any style that you want, anything. Like yeah. there's something for for all of you, and so. Um, yeah. um, is Ranger playing? No, Ranger oh, cool. said he doesn't have time for like another mobile game right now. So yeah, Ranger he is hasn't kind of busy. started yet. He's finishing you know up his school happen. and his uh, business. It's okay. The pool boy will play for him. It's yeah, fine. Yeah. The, the pool boy will play for him. You know what's going to happen. We're going to start talking about it and loving it and talking about it all the time. And then he's going to. And then you know what's going to happen. We're going to be we're going to be in one of our pre-stream chats, or we're going to be in one of our post-stream chats. And you know what he's going to do? He's, fine. Let me Fine. get my phone. <laughs> I'll do it for you, kids. <laughs> Only you. Though. I'll just. I'll do it for you. Yeah, yeah. She's gonna be. He's gonna be like, if you guys weren't my friends, I wouldn't be doing this. <laughs> you can't puppy dog eye him. You can't puppy dog eyes him. It's not gonna be good if you do that. He will cave. He probably will puppy dog if you. Yeah. You, you'll. Oh, he he'll he'll cave eventually. Yeah. yeah. Probably quicker than we think. So. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so that I think that covers everything for this. Make sure you download. Make sure you tag me if you guys do download it. Um, just a few other closing things. Uh, we'll tag be... all of us. I'm fine with that. Mm -hmm. So a few closing things here. Uh, thanks again for joining. We're going to try and do more of these again every week, Thursday. Uh, we have a bunch of other streams, too. So we do uh, D Dungeons & Dragons on Sunday nights. We do... Uh, PC gaming on Tuesday night. We do Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes on Wednesday nights. We have the lunch hour that we do at 12 p.m. Eastern time, uh, Monday through Fridays on working days. Uh, again, all these are U.S. Eastern times that I'm mentioning. Uh, we do Jedi Academy for Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes on Saturday at 10 a.m. And, of course, if you guys haven't noticed it, at the top right we have the counter for the American Cancer Society. So we are raising money for the American Cancer Society. We are running a half marathon in April, and we are trying to raise $15,000 for the American Cancer Society. So currently we are at uh, $4,500, and we are on our way here. We're going to probably do a 12-hour stream in February, so be on the lookout for that. Um, and if you guys are willing to donate, please do so. Everything goes to the American Cancer Society. So it is tax deductible. 
and we have a lot of fun challenges and everything on the tiltify page which is linked in the description below where you can do stuff like have me wear a silver or white wig with glitter and rhinestones and all kinds of stuff when we actually meet the american cancer society for the first time so i will be making a fool of myself if that challenge gets filled so again uh we're playing games we're trying to build a community we're also trying to make it better for the community at large so please help us with the american cancer society and all of that um anything else mcvenom or grande no um just want to say thanks to the discord um the tactical monsters discord and all the people in it they've been super helpful. yeah it's super cool super welcoming yeah. i mean you know just just awesome so thanks guys all right so with that i think that ends everything with the stream here we appreciate all of you guys coming out and watching this first uh installment of plus one to noob tactical skills that is what we are calling mm -hmm. this because we are improving our noob tactical skills with one stream at a time <laughs> so thank you to everyone once again i am finity that is mcvenom and grande we are reality skewed gamers and we are signing out <laughs>